Hi and welcome to CardPress. On this video tutorial, I will teach you how to add the card ID to a database field. To do this, we will use CardPress to database card connected to our employee database. Previously, we add the field to our database, call it card ID. Well, not very original, but very enlightening. To begin, click on the open button. Select the card and click OK. Now we have a card connected to a database. Remember the text object we had on our card on last tutorial? Well, we'll use it and we'll connect the object to our database. How? Let's see. On the source tab on your right, change the sort of the object to database. Then change the column to card ID. That is the name of the column previously created on our database. Now click on the encoder view button on the top menu. Here on the encode view, you have the encode operations board to where you can drag and drop your objects to perform encoding operations, like shown on last tutorial. Please verify if the encoder device detected is the one you'll use. If not, please change it. On our right, on the database tab, we have the database fields with our new card ID field. All we have to do now is drag and drop our new field on the encode operations JavaScript code, like this. Like mentioned on the previous tutorial, only the text that is appropriated to our operation will highlight and accept our object. Now, click on the card view button, like this. It's time to print our cards from database and update the card ID field. To do that, click on the file menu and choose configure print option. Choose the PDF Creator Printer to view the results without using any card. Change the paper size to A7, that is the most resembled to our card size, and select Landscape Orientation. After this, just click OK. Then click on the Print button and put your configurations like this. Database selection range from the Start Record to All Records. To print and update all records that are on the database. Don't forget to check to print front cards and encode operations. Finally, click OK. Then CardPress will ask you to pass the cards on the reader. Please do when applied, like this. As you can see, all the records are here and with the card ID printed on them. And all the card ID field records on the database are updated. Simple, isn't it? Like everything else in CardPress. Don't forget to save your work by clicking on the Save button. On the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to write on a sector of your contactless card. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you for choosing Cardpresso and goodbye.